the Rams first. Oh, yeah. Vinny, okay. how do you think this Cam Akers injury is going to affect the Rams' outlook for this season? How do you think it's going to affect their uh, how the Rams are going to perform? Because I, when I heard this come, come across my screen and I saw that Cam Akers went down, I listen, he's an FSU guy. So yeah. I hate oh, yeah. That, but, but if we're talking about in terms of implications for the teams and how much they're going to win, I think this hurts the Rams a lot more than people are willing to let on. So, so just take yeah. it away, Vinny. What do you think about this whole game, Akers injury? I would be, as a Rams fan, I would be a little more concerned if Jared Goff was the quarterback. But Jared Goff isn't the quarterback now. It's Matthew Stafford. And I think that's where I can see it not having as big of an impact as people think. Yes, I think Cam Akers would have had a really, really good year this year but Sean McVay has you know proven that you know the main guy when he goes down he can fill in those roles Todd Gurley two years ago went down CJ Anderson filled in perfectly right and Daryl 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 Henderson is a you know pretty pretty solid backup too and still on the roster you know, I, I, he's still on the roster he'll I think he'll fit in pretty well and honestly as and I think they'll still run the ball mainly in Los Angeles, but I think with Matthew Stafford, it just adds a whole different dimension into what Sean McVay d- could do. Like we talk about like Kyle Shanahan going into the bag and pulling out all the tricks with Trey Lance. Like Sean McVay is going to do the same thing with Matthew Stafford, right? right? And another thing that helps is that you have the two best defensive players in the league on your team. That helps a lot. <laughs> so... I, I still think the Rams are going to win the division, but if there's like a – like I think Cam Akers I – mean, and, and we'll see, right? But Cam Akers could have been, I think, that tipping point of where they could have really gone to a different level, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. Like I think it would have been worse if it was like a Robert Woods or Cooper Cup going down for the year more so than – can't make yeah, and that's kind of the point I wanted to bring up. I think this is a tough loss for the Rams. I don't think this ends their season, though. I think no. like what you're talking about, if anything with Cam Akers, it's more of a tipping point sort of thing, like you were saying, where it, it could be that extra thing that could take them over the edge versus an NFC championship or a Super Bowl appearance, right? That's that's kind of where I see the difference. But specifically with the Rams and their outlook for the season, the thing I would worry about Vinny is if they do sustain one more injury to a key starter, I think things get really yeah. ugly for the Rams really quick. And that's more the point I wanted to focus on, which is I don't think the Rams would be contenders if they got an injury to their offensive line or if they lost a Robert Woods or a Cooper Cup. I think if they were if if they had you know, obviously Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald are super important players, but even if they lose like, I don't know, a Michael Brockers, like like one of their extra players on that roster that, that is a very quality starter, I think things get really tough for the Rams because they lost John Johnson yeah. and their other safety over the offseason. They lost a ton of depth. So yeah. I just think plus, – Yeah, plus their linebackers kind of stink, so – they do stink, man. It, 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 I think overall, for me, it's just if the Rams do sustain one more key injury to a starter, I would really question their ability to contend in the NFC. In fact, I think if they did lose a Robert Woods or a Cooper Cup or anyone better than those guys, I don't think they would make it to an NFC championship game or very far in the playoffs. And I think specifically yeah. with the whole Cam Akers thing, it does hurt the run game a lot. And, and the one thing yeah. I'll say is that with Matthew Stafford, He's never really had the greatest run game in his career. So I, I'm sure he was bummed out when he heard this news. You, you kind of have to be, man. So I, mm-hmm. I think overall this is tough for the Rams, although it's not a season ender. But I think with all the risks the Rams have taken and all the capital and all the cap space they put into specific players on their roster where it's so top heavy, if they do lose another one of those guys, I think things get very, very yeah. ugly for them. And, it, and it's more so like like what you mentioned with like a Cooper Cup or a Robert Woods or a, even like a Tyler Higby. Like I think those are losses, right? Because everyone and their mom knows, right, that if Aaron Donald or Jalen Ramsey get hurt, they're done. They're yeah. right. 